Hey gamers, I am Solver Snack 7 hope we're all well and back with another video and this is my first pickups video for 2024 so I thought I'd start with my Nintendo Switch collection update video uh, and there's going to be 22 games to be shown you in this video so there's plenty of uh, games to digest um, and as I say 22 is probably more than enough for any one pickup video to be honest. Uh, I have kept a few aside which is for a future video uh, concerning my fighting games collections uh, across different systems, which include in the Switch. So that will be uh, in a, the future, a future video coming up. Uh, so I've kept them ones out. But regardless, there's still 22 games here. I've categorised them. We've got obviously driving games, platform, slash Metroidvania games. We've got shooters. We've got side scrolling beaters. And we have got a couple of miscellaneous games which kind of don't fit in a category, to be fair. So, we'll start with those two first. Now, this one, um, I don't think I've ever shown in a pickups video, and if I have, I apologise, I can't really remember. But, it is this one, which is the Atari 50th Anniversary Collection. Now, this is the Steelbook variant. Now, I picked this up last year uh, on game, uh, because I was... Uh, Putting it out for a, a cheapest price, cheaper than it usually uh, was. So I thought I'd snag that. But very, very uh, nice collection to have uh, for the Atari. So it's not only the games on there, because you've got obviously uh, different systems from Atari. Also, you've got the arcade games on here as well. But not only that, you've got the history of Atari, the company itself, interviews, and there's a lot of good information on here if you're interested in that sort of thing. Uh, concerning Atari uh, but obviously uh, this did me uh, up until obviously the fact now that the Atari 2600 Minis come out uh, which I will be getting one eventually uh, but as I say if you're not interested in getting one of those uh, and you're looking to play some Atari this you can't go far wrong with this so really nice collection great little his historical um, videos and things like that on there concerning the company itself so definitely worth the money if you can pick it up for decent uh, a decent price which i did thankfully but this can go uh for quite expensive now being in the steelbook but it doesn't necessarily have to be the steelbook of course but yeah definitely worth picking up so that is the atari 50th anniversary edition right next let's have a little bit of drink i should have uh, got more drink to be honest with you Next is a game uh, I was praying it was going to bring out as a physical game, and they obviously eventually did. Uh, but this was uh, a download only. It came out at the beginning of this year, I think. I'm not too sure, or it was like end of last year um, as a download only. Uh, but then they released a physical, and I, I did pick this up at the beginning of the year. But that is Bomb Rush Cyberpunk. Now, this is, of course, a Definitely a homage to Jet Grind Radio, Jet Set Radio. Uh, definitely the same format and style of gameplay. Uh, but this I absolutely wanted to add to the collection because this was the closest thing I was going to get to that style of game. But now we know, of course, uh, Jet Set Radio is going to be re-released and revamped and a brand new game from Sega is coming out, which I'm so happy about because that game is got to be one of my favourite games. Top five games of all time. Absolutely love that game. But this is a very close representation of that style of gameplay. There are a few differences, of course. In this one, you can take off your skates and put your skates back on whenever you feel like it. I suppose it's, it's like certain situations within the story. You have to take them off and do a bit of running around rather than wear your skates all the time. So it makes a bit of variety, a bit of difference in the game. Uh, but the overall style and gameplay itself is definitely... A jet grown radio themed kind of game which i'm really happy about but so happy to have picked this one up and uh, added it to the collection especially being a physical release of course as i didn't really want to spend the money on getting it downloaded onto the switch i know i've done it in the past i've still got a few games downloaded on the system but games like this i really try to wait for and hope that they bring them out physically and there you go waiting and they're brought it out and it wasn't that long uh, after they actually released it as a download that they brought it out as a physical which is quite good so very very happy to own this one and that is the Bomb Rush Cyberpunk fantastic game if you love your Jet Grind Radio Jet slash, uh, slash Jet Set Radio this you must add to the collection so well happy with that so that's your miscellaneous out of the way what we'll do now is we'll move on to 
a couple of side scrolling beaters. Now, obviously, the fighting games, the one on one fighters have left out, as I said, but these are obviously side scrolling beaters. Now, the first one, I definitely haven't shown and I haven't even started. I haven't even undone this yet, I just then got round to it, which is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Carabunga Collection. Now, this it speaks to itself. It's an absolutely awesome collection of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games. It's got absolutely every game from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on here, from the NES to the Super NES. Uh, the, the list goes on. There is an absolutely ton. And I think the Mega Drive ones here as well. So every variant of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle game is on this collection. Uh, so you can't go wrong if you don't want to be collecting the originals, which is far a few between and they're very expensive of course this is definitely the road to go down absolutely awesome collection i will get to play this one day uh i will take the seal off it to be honest uh but uh very happy to add it to the collection of course but at least it gives me the opportunity now i can play all the nes uh i could replay the mega drive games it's not that i didn't know them in the past because i did but it's just nice to have one cartridge and all the games on that system job done simple as that so happy to have that so we're uh, looking forward to playing that in the future so that is the obviously the teenage mutant ninja turtles the cowabunga collection and the next one is of course one i picked up uh, and it recently turned up last week uh, and i've wanted this series for a long time um they did bring them out singular unlimited run but then play has brought it out as a double pack uh, and it just made sense to buy the one copy and have the both games actually on the one cartridge because it's just saves money at the end of the day uh, and i'm talking about this one this is a river city girls one and two now this i've wanted in the collection for an absolute age it's a, a really fantastic looking side scrolling beat em up uh, action adventure it's like river city ransom technically but you are two school girls and i think the premise of it is you've got to save your boyfriends i'm I think that's what it is. I haven't really I put it in the system. It's ready to go, but I haven't really played it as yet. But uh, unlockable characters, of course, I think you unlock your boyfriends and you can use them uh, in future gameplays and things like that. But two games I've wanted in the collection for a long, long time and uh, looking forward to playing them both, to be fair. Uh, but as I say, much, much cheaper and far accessible more fire accessible as far as i'm concerned to have it on one cartridge two games uh because as i say the limited run ones do go for a, a good price nowadays and to be honest i ain't really fussed about the collection boxes as as i used to be so just to get it in a couple of a uh, couple of games on one cartridge can't go wrong but very very looking forward to playing that so that is of course river city girls one and two uh there you go that's a japanese variant of course as well from play asia so there we go right that is category two out of the way so what should we do we'll do the driving games next now this one uh it's been out for a long time and everybody's raved about it and i never even downloaded it on the system when it was uh, available for a download and i think it was james in port gamer he, he was talking about this uh on one of his videos and I always seen it in his background on his telly and I thought I really need that game because it, it just it's a good homage to the Amiga classic driving games and you'll know what I'm talking about when you see and that is of course Horizon Chase Turbo. Now this game I've wanted and I just never got round to getting it, but as I say, James uh he had it always on in the background and he, he talked about it a few times and he loves his driving games and this is a classic game. Uh, it's like your Top Gear Rally, you know, uh, is it Top Gear, Top Gear Rally? Uh, no, I, I can't think of it. It's it, one of the Amiga games, uh, Lotus Challenge. That's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of Lotus Challenge on the Amiga. So that is right up my alley. I love that kind of stri uh, like kind of driving game. It's got a bit, a few elements. It's got like that, that Amiga kind of feel and also like the outrunish kind of feel. It's a nice quick fix racing game. Uh, it's not too uh, heavy on the, you know, the updates and the, the, you know you got to change your engine and blah 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 it's just straightforward arcade fun and that's what i love about it so yeah very very happy to add this to the collection and as i say um 
not a cheap game, uh, not, not a cheap game, not a dear game, should I say, uh, to pick up. But uh, long overdue, I say I, I did not pick it up. I was just being lazy, to be honest with you. But it's, as I say, James and his influence, uh, having it on, on his back screen all the time, give me the push to pick this up. And I'm very, very happy to have it to the collection because it's, like, it's a nice quick fix arcade sim game. But yeah, love it. Absolutely love it. So that's uh, Horizon Chase Turbo. Right. Next one is, uh, I love my rally games, and the next two are rally games. Uh, but this one uh, I've wanted, uh, and I'm really happy to add it, uh, add it to the collection. And that is the Art of Rally, the Deluxe Edition. Now, the graphics on this are on one of their own. It's a very, very long cell-shaded kind of graphics. Very simplistic. But the driving physics are second to none. They're absolutely smack on. Um, and this is not an easy game. Uh, it doesn't hold your hand. It doesn't give you any, like, we'll start you off slowly. You just go in, play the game, and you are terrible at it, full stop. Because the handling of each car is true to the actual rally car that you're driving. There's no, no you know, changing the settings and things like that. The car is what it is. And it is very, very difficult. So it's a, a massive learning curve on this, really. It's a massive learning curve on playing this game. So, it, you know, you'll, you'll play with one car and you'll master it. And then you move on and you've got to start all over again with the new car. Because it plays completely different to the last car that you drove. So as I say, don't hold your hand. It literally puts you into it and you've got to just become good at it. And, and it's going to take a while. Trust me, uh, I've been playing this on free play for a while. You do have, obviously, your different um, competitions you have to uh, go into uh, and, and complete and beat. And, uh, obviously, be number one of, of each uh, rally. Uh, but that is far, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take you a while, trust me. Um, but the overall game, beautiful looking, simplistic, but playability. Second to none, absolutely fantastic game this is. Uh, as I say, it's um, it's got a massive learning curve, and it's gonna. If you want a game that's going to uh, last you, this is definitely that game. Uh, you, you're gonna put this on, and it's gonna. It's got a load of unlockables, um, uh, and as I say, a, a load of cars to unlock, of course. But each car is to its own. So once you've mastered one, don't think you're gonna move on to the next car, and it's gonna be. A walk in the park because it ain't it's going to be start from scratch and learn that car and start all over again it's really that difficult so but at the end of the day that's what a game's all about if you don't if, if you, you can't buy a game and you play it and improve it improve on your own you know skills and abilities then what's the point in having a game as far as i'm concerned but yeah beautiful game fantastic graphics very very uh difficult i have to say that but an absolute gem to have and it's cheapest you think about about 25 pound for this but absolutely if you love your rally games you love your driving games definitely get this one so that's the art of rally uh fantastic game that is right the final one is um one i got from play asia because obviously in january you had your black friday kind of deals kind of thing and there's a few games i picked up from the play asia uh, all in one gear because I thought, yeah, get them while you, you, they're there because they're so blooming cheap. Now, this next one is uh, a collection, and this is a Rush Rally collection. Uh, and this is obviously uh, a collection of two uh, rally games. Um, and what it is, you, you have like the a top down version of a rally game with, with the top down, and then you also have the in car rally game, like your original, like, like, like you would play normally. But two great style of um rally games on this collection you get like a nice soundtrack in here and the game itself i haven't yet opened it of course as you can see uh but um you've got everything in here uh i can't even read the back to be honest i ain't got my glasses on but regardless two fantastic uh nice little rally games on here and for the price i paid i think i paid less than 20 pounds for this um I couldn't resist it, and I've wanted it for a while. And for a player, actually, to bring it out and have it, and that's the thing: this is a player as your exclusive. So obviously, it's the only way you could get that, unless you want to get in on eBay and pay over the odds. But um, 
I struck while the oil was hot and it was very, very cheap uh, on Play Asia in January. So I thought, yeah, I'll add that to collection. I'll probably do a video on some of these in the future, just look at little playthrough videos just to show you how these games play. I think that's what I might do actually, do some mini playthrough videos of each of my Switch games, ones that I find, um, or you might find interesting to watch. So anyway, yeah, that's the Rush Rush Rally, uh, Rush Rally collection, uh, and as I say, I will show you that uh, in a future video, just to show you the two variants of the two games that you get. But they are uh, very, very good games, uh, but, Yet again, I'm just going to have to wait and see and then play this uh, when I eventually get round to it. So that is the Rush Rally Collection. Right, so that's the driving games, the side scrolling, and the miscellaneous. Right, next uh, we shall move on to, let's have a bit of the shooters, shall we? Let's have the shooters. Right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six shooters. Six shooting games. One's on in the background, of course. Uh, but the first one is a Play Asia. Again, I bought this super, super cheap uh, with Rush Rush Rally, uh, and this is the Darius uh, Cosmic Revelation collection. So on here you get um, the Darius HD and the Darius Burst EX, uh, two games, uh, and I paid eight pounds for this. Super cheap, uh, two fantastic games, not yet opened of course, as you can see, but for eight pounds, you just like it, you just, it's one of them just think oh if i don't take it now i'm never going to get that price again so absolutely awesome to pick that up i love the diaries games difficult as hell like most shooters are but still uh a twin pack of games for eight pound you ain't you ain't gonna uh, not get that are you or as far as i'm concerned and i've really i've i've got a fondness for the shooters lately and even though i'm absolutely terrible at them i still want to collect them which you'll see why and what I've got in the next year. But yeah, eight pounds from Play Asia, and that's the Darius uh, Cosmic Coll Revelation Collection. Absolutely superb. Right, that's that one. Next one is uh, one another one that James loves. He loves his Raidens, um, and I think this one I wanted more than. There is a couple of uh, Raiden collections, out, um, but this one I wanted more. So I've got the Raiden three for the Switch. I was looking for this in the Birmingham game market last year uh, and Eddie was stalling uh, and he'd literally just sold his Switch copy, which is a shame. But eventually I got one anyway. I could have got it on the PS4. Everybody talks about, oh, the PS4 runs better, blah, blah, PS4. And the, the, I don't know what it is about people moaning about the frame rates and things like that on the Switch. Yeah, it is what it is. It's a Switch. It's not as powerful as the PS4 and it's not as powerful as the PS5. So if you want a game that runs better, get it on the PS4 and PS5. But for me, I don't give into that. I just want the game on the Switch. Play for what it is. Uh, don't look for inconsistencies in games. I just want to play them and you enjoy them. It's as simple as that. But eventually, got it. Uh, and this is the Raiden 3. Absolutely love this game. Um, I played this firstly on uh, the PS3 uh, when I was at Dazzy's uh, many moons ago, a good few years ago, uh, and he had it on his PS, uh, PS2, uh, th sorry, PS2. And um, I loved it then, and I always wanted to get my hands on it, but obviously when they brought it out, uh, the remix edition, I was, yeah, I'm on that. So bought that, loved it, hard as nails, love it. Too interesting to see now. Nice two ships there. But yeah, good uh, good gameplay. Uh, hard as nails. As I say, I still love to play and torture myself over and over again. But this is one out of the Raiden games that are available that I really wanted. So, well, happy to have that. So, that's Raiden 3. And then the next one is another Play Asia uh, game. Now, this one, as soon as I see it, I thought, yeah, man, old school style side scroll side scrolling shooter uh loved the look of it uh so i had to get it and that was of course devil engine the devil engine is an absolutely fantastic side scrolling shooter graphically just it reminds me of the, like the old school graphics check out a video you'll know exactly what i'm on about but i've got to say one thing boy this is absolutely ridiculously hard it's stupidly hard and I mean, I, I've got a bit of like, you know, I, I, I've got good like 
reflexes, but man, this is ridiculous. It's absolutely stupid. Uh, and the main game is hard enough, but you do have an extra like, challenge mode on there. And you don't last more than like 10 seconds. I, I couldn't anyway, it's absolutely stupid. But um, game overall, play is beautiful, looks fantastic. Fantastic soundtrack on it. Um, but I just love the old style look of the game. It's very 8-bit-ish in a sense. Um, but man, it's absolutely balls hard, unfortunately. But hey, this is going to be the theme of me buying shooters. It's going to be the same with every game that I shoot together I buy. It's going to be balls hard. It's as simple as that. But absolutely a fantastic game. Love this game. So there's uh, Devil Engine. Check it out. Uh, as I say, I might do little short videos. I'm showing you a, a certain few of these games in the future, but there's Devil Engine. Fantastic game, very, very difficult, but it is what it is. Now, next one, or next two are, of course, classic shooters. These have been across the board on all consoles. Started on, of course, the three, Xbox 360, I'm assuming. Uh, no, actually, even back further than that, of course, the PlayStation 2. Um, uh, and this one is, of course, Dodon Pachi. So I had to pick that one up. Uh, Dodon Pachi Resurrection, I think this one is. Um, so yeah, pick this one up. Uh, yet again, one of these games, it's a bully hell game. So if you play Dodon Pachi, you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. Absolute mayhem. But uh, yeah, pick that one up. Got that from PlayAsia also. Fairly cheap at the time. So um I was well happy to pick that one up. Uh, played this a few times, and um, I think I got to about the third level. Uh, but that's as far as I can get. I'm no one CC expert, and I don't think I'm ever going to be, to be fair. But regardless, I still love torturing myself and playing these games. I really, really do. But that is Dojun Pochi, Dojun Pochi Resurrection. And then, obviously, next one, uh, which I missed out on getting from Play Asia, and uh, not Play Asia, uh, Amazon Japan. I was umming and ahhing about it too much and then ended up missing it and it was sold out everywhere and I had to get it from another Japanese company which the price was good but the import charges were like £15 postage I mean, well, yeah, it is what it is but I did it but this one is uh, Dodon Pochi Blissful Death now, um, don't ask me to go to the backstory and where this come from I'm not too sure if this was the original one from the playstation or that was the original one from the playstation uh but regardless i haven't opened this one yet i haven't tried this one out i yet to try this but this uh is been a very popular game uh let's say it's been it's sold out everywhere so uh looking forward to giving this a go there's so many different game modes on here um and things like that i've, I've watched a few videos on it and it looks very very impressive if not probably better than the resurrection of dodon pochi but well happy to have this at last crazy import charges silliness but i had to have it uh it's just a fomo effect already fear of missing out uh so i couldn't wait because i guarantee uh it had been on ebay which it has been on ebay and it goes for silly money now so i was glad to pay the cheaper price for the actual game but i just had to see past the fact of the import charges but never mind there it is and uh yet again another game i really wanted to play so I will crack that open soon. So that is Dodon Pachi, um, Blissful Death. Now the final shooter is of course what's on in the background. And this arrived last week. Uh, and I've watched a number of videos on this and I really, really want to give this game a go. Good, nice, cutesy shoot them up. Um, but yeah, a bullet hell side scroller, in a sense. And this is, I'm not gonna tell you the full name of it, but. All I can say, this is called Trouble Witches. Uh, and of course, as you can see, this game looks amazing. It is colourful, graphically brilliant. Um, uh, and this is obviously a game that's started its life on the 360s to download content, I think. And then it, it come out in reiterations over and over again. But it's always been um, the final, final edition. There we go. Episode, episode one, Daughters of Amaglam. There you go, there's a the full title, title, get it right. Uh, but absolutely beautiful game. If you love your cutesy shooters, this is definitely um, a homage to what's the other shooting game now. Uh, that's like it. Uh, she's, um, 
start. I'm gonna. I, you're gonna shout at me now. You know what it. You know. You know exactly what it is. She's on a broom. That oh, cotton. There you go. It's exactly like cotton. And in one variant, actually, of the game, cotton was an actually playable character. Uh, but I can't think of which one it was. But they obviously have to take her out through licensing reasons uh, in future iterations of this game. It's a shame she won't put in this one. But regardless, it doesn't matter. There's absolutely tons of characters in this to choose from. Um, there's about six or eight levels or something like that. But as you can see, so it plays amazing, looks beautiful. And it, it's definitely my favourite shooter at the moment. As I say, this one's open, it's been played. Um, but yeah, loving it, absolutely loving this game. This game is an absolute gem. So if you haven't got it and you love your shooters, get this game immediately. It's really, really good. A fantastic shooter, and this is the one of you want to play that uh, most out of all of them. It's the one I wanted to play most, so well happy with that. So, there you go, that is Trouble Witches, a definite for uh, the collection if you're a shooting fan. No two ways about that. Okay, that's another section sorted. So, we have our final one, two, three, four, five, six, nine games. Yeah, another nine games. Crazy. So, what we'll do, we'll start with. The oldest first, work our way back, um, of course, or until the most latest games. I don't think so, that one and that one. Yeah, there we go, we'll keep it there. So we'll start with, firstly, the three games. Um, well, basically, I had Master Blaster collection box sets from Limited Run, and I never took them out of the seal. I never broke the seal on the, on the games for nearly two years. So I thought I'd decide to take them out, and here they all three are. Of them are so I've taken them out of the collection boxes and now they've got their own collection boxes within the collection box. So of course that's Master Blaster Zero, Master Blaster Zero Two, and Master Blaster Zero Three. Now I've actually undone one because they are, are those two are sealed. I've undone the first one just to give you uh, a look. So yet in the slip case and then you got another sealed box inside like so and let's open it up and you're not gonna i'm not too sure what you're getting here to be fair i've just undone the seal earlier on so you can open it up and have a look but we get of course the blaster master actual game itself the switch game and then i think it's a case of having like posters and uh, things like that so let's have a look if I can get a bit of things out. Let's have a look. There we go. So we've got, we got a nice poster, which I don't think I'm going to open, to be fair. Uh, and then what else do we have here? Have we got anything else? Oh, we do, yeah. Do we? I don't think we do, actually. Yeah, we do. We just can't get everything out of the box. Oh, I think they're art cards. They're art cards. But they are not. Oh, there we go. I've got the soundtrack. So we have a soundtrack with a lot of tracks on there, but I've already got, I've already got the Blaster Master soundtracks. Blaster Master 1 and Blaster Master 2 soundtracks. It's a shame they didn't bring the third Blaster Master uh, soundtrack out because I've got the double pack on vinyl, uh, but they didn't ever bring out uh, Blaster Master 3, which is a shame. But regardless of that, uh, still a nice little box set. Oh. I'll have to uh, put that in again later, but regardless, there you go. That's the innards of one of those. So you get your game, you get a poster, and you get the soundtrack with each of the games. Now, I've been absolutely dying to play one of these. I've never played a Blaster Master game. Um, so it's going to be exactly like what the originals used to be like. So I'm assuming, you know, it's going to be a good game. Top down, like maze kind of, and then the side scrolling with the tank. So, looking forward to giving these a blast, and hopefully they are as good, if not better, than the originals. So, that's the Master Blaster collection. I thought I'd do all three in one go. Whew. I will get to them eventually, like most things. But there you go. So, what we got next? We have this one. I played it. I'm not overly keen on it. I don't know why. Uh, these were original PlayStation uh, games, but they brought in a double pack. Uh, and I don't know what it is. I'll, I've tried a couple of times. I just, I'm just not enjoying it. I just don't know why. Uh, but I think it's. Uh, 
What is it? Cologne? I can't even pronounce it. Blue thing. Well, there you go. There it is. That's it. Is it Cologne? Cologne? Klonoa. Oh, I'll get there in the end. There you go. The Klonoa collection, uh, which is the uh, Fantasy Revive series. So you get the both Klonoa 1 and 2 on there. And I've been playing the first one, and I don't know what it is. It just don't grab me. It's not grabbing me um, as a platformer. Uh, I, I can't see what all the fuss is about, to be fair. I will will sit down and play this and, and give it a go. But... Um, or another another try, should I say? But at the moment, there's far more better games that I want to actually sit down and play. To be fair, which you'll see, there are a couple of good ones coming. Um, but this Klonoa, I got it for fairly cheap anyway from uh, Hit uh, off the uh, website Hit. Uh, it was like a cheap price, so I thought I'd pick it up for the price. And for what I paid for it, I think it was like twenty one pounds. I couldn't really say no. But you got both games yet again for twenty one pounds, ten or a piece really. Uh, I do need to give it a go, but I've just it's just not grabbed me this game. I don't understand why. I, I don't know what it is. But um, regardless, it's a, a nice little uh, double pack to add to the collection. I will get back to it. But as I say, when... Oh, that's another... Nothing entirely. But as I say, yeah, good game. Or good games. But just don't... I don't know. Something just don't grab me about it. But regardless, there you go. That is the Kelowna, uh Fantasy, uh, Fantasy Revive, was it? Yeah, Fantasy Revive Collection. There you go. Now, next one is Play Asia. Uh, and this trilogy uh, obviously started out on the original Xbox. And then I bought the next two on the PlayStation 3. Um, and they are probably the hardest games you can ever play. There's no two ways about it. The second one... I, I completed, I absolutely completed, and I went through it, it took me months to do, but the achievement of doing it <laughs> is, like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm quite surprised that I managed to do it, to be honest, but absolutely love it, but the first one, I never played the third one, that's why I really got this collection back to give this a go, but the first one is rock hard, uh, I remember playing it on the original Xbox, and only got to a certain point, and I just couldn't get any further, uh, as I say, the second one I completed and the third one never played again. But I'm talking about the Ninja Gaiden Master Collection. I get there in the end. Uh, all three uh, Ninja Gaiden games on there. One, two and three in one collection for the Switch. Um, I wanted it on the Switch. Uh, I was waiting for a PAL release, but they never brought one out. So I just thought, it's English anyway. English on the, uh, the, the Asian version of the game. So I thought, just get it. And I got it super cheap. In the Play Asia sale yet again. So, this is another one of them games. So, obviously, I had the Rush Rally, I had this, um, I had the uh, Cosmic Collection, um, and I have got one more. Is it, was it one more? No, no, that was it. And this one also. Oh, yeah, I did have another one, but it's a fighting game, which I'll talk about in the future. So, I had four games from Play Asia in the sale, and I'm going for a really cheap price. But this, yeah, absolutely happy to have this. I'm going to torture myself yet again. And try and play the first and the third. The second one I will go back to and play again. Because I did it once. Whether I'll be able to do it again is, well, anybody's blooming guess. But regardless, happy to have the Ninja Gaiden uh, trilogy back in the collection on Switch. So I'm looking forward to giving that a blast. Yeah, definitely. Love the old Ninja Gaiden. But uh, yeah, another game to torture myself with. So... We are onto the last four games, and this one um, is a Metroidvania. Now, not started this one yet, but this weirdly has some sort of relevance to the Gun Girl series. Anybody know what that is? That um, I've got the first two. I haven't got the third one, but how this has any relevance to the Gun Girl series is beyond me. But this is the Gal Guardians Demon Purge. Now, this is a, uh, obviously a side-scrolling Metroidvania style game. Um, the name was changed in Japan. It, it does have a different name, but for some reason they changed the Gal Guardians. Uh, but I'm assuming these girls on the front have some relevance to the Gun Gal games. Uh, how that uh, transpired, I really don't know. Whether it says it within the game when you play it, I don't know. But 
Really like the uh, look of this uh, game. As I say, not got round to playing it as per usual. Uh, but yeah, I love the Metroidvania style games and this one is one of probably a few I'm gonna get over the time, believe me, I'm gonna get a few more. I have got a couple more um, coming in the future. Uh, one who ordered, for, oh, I can't remember ordered. I, I literally forgot about it until um, I went through my emails and I thought, oh, I've ordered one game and there's only like 300 copies of it. Uh, and I think it was from Strictly Limited. But looking forward to playing that whenever that turns up. But yeah, this game, uh, the Gal Guardians, looks uh, a really uh, great side-scrolling Metroidvania game. So if you're into your Metroidvanias, I'd give it a go. Uh, yeah, as you can see, I've yet to open it and give it a go myself. So, um, you know, there you go. <laughs> I can't say much about it because I ain't opened it and played it, have I? But... Uh, very, very happy to own it at last. So that's a Gun Gal, uh, the Gal Guardians Demon Purge. Right, this one is a limited run release. I bought this one probably about three months ago. Um, and this one I've, I've really wanted to uh, give a go of, uh, give it a go. And um, I really can't read the words on it. You know, let, let me see, put my older broken glasses on. Right, this is uh, Anno. Mute mutation him. Oh, there you go. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Have you seen this game before? I can't even pronounce the name of it. This is like a cyberpunk platform slash RPG. And uh, that's all I can really tell you about it. But the gameplay uh, is very, very uh, 8-bit kind of like, it just, the, the graphics look, it look absolutely pretty amazing. It's not an 8-bit game or something, just techno like what I said. But graphically, it looks superb, but it's like a side-scrolling action platforming game. But you do have your exploration elements where you've got to go around and ask people questions and things like that. But it's very, as I say, cyberpunk-esque. Amazing, like Blade Runner kind of uh, style of gameplay it looks. But uh, this, uh, as soon as I've seen it, uh, when I watch, I watch a video of like the, the, some of the top games you can buy, and this was one of them, and I thought, yeah, I'm going to give that a go. And yes, it's still sealed, so I haven't given it a go yet, but I'm still happy to have this in the collection because this is one of them rising price games, believe me, and especially being limited run, of course. It's going to go only one way, and that is up. So, uh, but yeah, well happy to have this. Well, looking forward to giving it a try uh, when I get round to it, like most things. Um, but... I cannot pronounce that name. Maybe you can see in the... Yeah, have a look on the old... Uh, see if you can see. But it's uh, Anno... Anno Mutation. Mutation, or something like that. But it looks very, very good. Uh, and I'm uh, looking forward to giving that a crack. So there you go. That's that's uh, that one. Uh, but I can't tell you any more than what I've seen on pr uh, videos that I've watched of it. But it looks amazing. Absolutely amazing, but definitely one limited run game. I definitely wanted to add to the collection. Okay, last two. Uh, and this one, of course, I double dipped on this one, to be honest. I got this on the PS5 and I got it on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, I don't know why, I just, just did it. But um, this is another ridiculously hard game. Brits a very addictive, I want to play it and keep on playing it kind of game. And that is Dead Souls Return to Castlevania. Uh, as I I've never played Dead Souls before up until this uh, version of the game come out. Um, and I have to say, it's blooming hard. It's very, very difficult, obviously. You've got one life. So you get as far as you can with that one life. And once you die, you start back at the beginning. And then you've got to make your way back to where you previously was to get any further. Uh, and there's multiple routes, multiple different ways to go, but obviously this has added the extra of having the Castlevania theme in there and all the Castlevania bosses you can unlock. Uh, Simon Belmont, I think. I'm not too sure if that's correct, but I know you can unlock uh, certain characters from the Castlevania series. But getting there is gonna be a different case altogether. Uh, and I'm no, I'm, you know, I can play games, but this, wow, this is this is one tough game, trust me. Uh, but very happy to have it, but I'm playing the PS5 version at the moment. So this is obviously going to stay sealed, probably permanently. But I'd say I, I double-dipped and I don't know what. I've got no clue whatsoever. It's the Castlevania thing, I just love it. 
uh, and I like all my Castlevania games on the Super, uh, on the Switch as well. To be fair, because I've got the Castlevania collection, of course, on there, and I will have the new Castlevania uh, collection that's coming out shortly, hopefully within the next few months from Limited Run. So yeah, there you go. That's the Dead Cells Return to Castlevania. Uh, I am enjoying it, but yet again, it's a very very difficult game. And if you've got this, uh, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Right, one final game. And we are hitting 40 minutes. So yeah, this has been a long video. I hope you've stuck with this. As I say, if you, you don't stick with it, watch me in bits and drabs across the week or whatever you've got to do. Uh, as I say, I'll probably do a video every two weeks, to be honest. I think that'll be the best way for me to go. Uh, it gives me time to, to get myself prepared for the next video. But regardless, you'll have plenty of time to digest this video and uh, put down in the comments what a load of rubbish these games are now, and I'm joking. But um, yeah, I've, I've enjoyed the Switch, I love the Switch, and as I say, I'm going to do my videos, but I want to sit down and, and literally play some games this year. As I say, I'm trying to minimalise the collection, not expand it, but it's difficult when you've got so many good games coming out for one system alone, never mind trying to catch up with your other systems that you're actually uh, you're playing on retro or modern whatever the case may be but anyway the final game the final game come monday uh, just gone uh, and this is another game i really wanted to play uh, and it's a franchise I've, I've played throughout consoles throughout the years but this is obviously uh, a different format a metroidvania kind of obviously game uh, but it is Prince of Persia The Lost Crane um, really been looking forward to playing that and I am literally going to be putting this on as soon as this video is finished because I want to sit down and have a, a good go at it today uh, and give this a go but love the look of this game the Metrovani style it's great I think it's probably missing uh, it, I would love to have the Metrovani style make it a little a little bit tougher by adding uh, or giving you a certain amount of time to do the game in, like the original Prince of Persia's was. If you understand what I mean, because the original Prince of Persia, you had a certain amount of time to get through to the last boss and rescue the princess. This, obviously, I don't know how this works. I don't know the premise of the story, whether you've got to rescue somebody or not. I'm not too sure. I haven't delved into looking into anything about this game as yet. So when I put this on, I'll learn as I go along, but I love the Prince of Persia franchise. I played them on most systems, of course, GameCube especially with the, the original three, which I did love. Uh, but it's nice to see a comeback with this uh, franchise, of course. But as I say, it's a completely different Metroidvania style game, uh, which the Nintendo Switch is famous for. But let's just have a look. I'm gonna, uh, I'll give you next next time I, I do another video. I'll, uh, we'll have a chat and talk about this and I'll give you my thoughts on how this game has panned out and what you think, what I think of it. But uh, definitely um, uh, a game I'm looking forward to playing. Uh, but as I say, you know, it's it's lost its, its true appeal in terms of the way the game used to play, where you had a time limit uh, to get to the end of the game to rescue the princess or whatever. I'd love that style of... Prince of Persia to come back to be honest because uh, that's what Prince of Persia was all about is getting through the levels getting through the traps getting the girl but having a certain amount of time to do that and it give you that added pressure to try and get the game and get us through it as fast as you could uh, and it improved it improved the gameplay to me that's the way I see it. but uh, regardless I'm not going to judge this game for that because as I say it's a completely different style of game uh, but so looking forward to giving this a go. Definitely, absolutely, definitely. So there it is. That's the final game uh, added to my Switch collection. And that is, of course, the Prince of Persia, The Lost Crane. Now, one more thing before I go. Uh, I do have a peripheral. Uh, and believe me, this has helped. And it probably would help you if you like me and you love to play your Switch and you get sick of playing a game, having to take the the cartridge out and then putting a new one in. But this I bought off Amazon uh, the weekend just gone and this is the multi-port switch game card reader. And as you can see, it sits into the, t the back of the switch. 
you plug it into the, the top where the cartridge goes. And then at the back here, you've got, you've got eight slots, but four of them, uh, the top ones, are where you can stick four switch games in. And uh, basically, then all you've got to do, come across, hit the switch button on the top, and it changes the game to the next game. Rather than you having to get, take the cartridge out, put the cartridge, another cartridge in. This one, you got four cartridges, you can just put in, end the game, switch the switch and move on to the next one. Easy as that. And for me, it's a definite, it's a no brainer because I was sick of getting up after playing a game. I had to take out the cartridge and then replace it with a new one. At least this, I've got four games ready to go and I can put switch to any, any one game at any one time. And it saves me messing about, to be honest with you. So, well, happy to have that. That was like uh, from Amazon, and it was like a limited time deal on it. I think I got it for twenty pounds. It's usually about thirty, I think. So, if you want one, uh, and I'd advise you to get one because they are very, very good, and it saves you say getting up and having to change your cartridges every two minutes. At least you got four games ready to roll. You can get bigger ones where you can have like eight cartridges, but they are uh, more expensive, of course. But this one for twenty pounds. No brainer for me. And so, so I can put four games in at a time. You do have uh, four extra slots underneath, but they are just for storage for another four cartridges if you want to. But yeah, well happy with that. So there you go. That's the multi-card multi -card reader uh, for the Switch. Definitely advisable to get one if you've got a ton of Switch games and you want to put four in at a time like I do. But there you go. That is it. Uh, that's everything for my Switch, apart from obviously a few which I'm keeping for my fighting game collection video which should be coming up in the near future. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it's been a long one of course, but hey, you know, take your time, enjoy this video for what it is. Watch it when you can, if it's like all in one go or it's just bits and drabs and when you've got the time. But uh, as I say, appreciated uh the the comments and of course uh the views of my last video it's great to know that i've still got uh some uh, people out there who like to follow my channel still um thank you for the support of course uh and hopefully looking forward to seeing uh, some new faces and some new comments from new uh channels in the future so as i said i'm going to leave it here guys it's been like nearly 40, nearly 50 minutes now. Uh, this is a long video. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I will be back with another video in the next couple of weeks, of course. Uh, what that's going to be, well, you just have to wait and see. So as per usual, I am Cybersnake7. Keep playing and remember, always keep watching. All the best. <laughs>